Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Mechanical Engineering. Today I have another project of a high pressure wind roll, steam roll, having some net technical defects. Okay, now I will show you the composer and show you the defects. The first problem over here is, it has a broken this one. The portion which stops the stream leaking has broken off. This part, as you can see, is broken. It's not just coming out. So I have to repair this one. Secondly, the, this is a, there is a play in this. It's not tightening, closing properly. There is a slip. This thread has gone slip. So I can take a deep thread. You can see the threads have got damaged. As well as the body thread has got damaged. Okay. So let's dismantle this parts and check the readings. Check the parts. The first one, this is the body. You can see the body is almost all right. Go the little go. Gallant part, gallant part which leaks joints in the leaking part which stops the leak. Here you can see this is the spindle. This is over here. This is the threaded type. So this, is, this needs to be changed. You can see the thread is damaged inside. So let's keep aside the body, the handle. There are no problem with this part. It's not. And the problem, main problem is with this. You can see <laughs> the thread over here. You can see is damaged. Okay, and the nut also. You can see the inside thread also got damaged due to the this damaged part. You can see it's fitting loose. Okay, it's slipping. So it will not stop. The valve will continuously leak steam, loose steam. So it's in the stop position. So what you have to do? I have to make a spindle, new spindle. I have to make this entire set a new one. This not a new one. And this gallon packing. This is called the gallon packing, which pushes the gallon to stop the leak. This portion has broken, so I have to make this one new, this one new, and this one new. Okay. So let's have a spreading of the things. So let's first measure the nut size. Okay. Is, the outer diameter is outer diameter 31.36 OD. Okay, let's try to it down. Body thread, I have to check this thread, I have to check out. The threads are generally of two types. They are 65 degree angle thread and the 60 degree angle thread. Now 
we are using the voice work 55 degree thread gauge okay so of course i will getting matching it up Set, I have to make a new one. So let's take the measurement, the length. I need a metal of nine, nine and a half inch. The battery is approximately two twenty, two forty mm. calculation on how to create the thread the thread portion you can see is the square thread and because this portion got damaged the thread was worn out this portion is quite good so i'll take a measurement from this part better part of the thread so let's check up with the thread page Almost uh, two inches. I have to buy. Okay, two inches thread. I need to buy. And a rod. I need to buy a steel rod, which will be outer diameter will be 17. Most probably 20 is available to the market at present. So I'll buy a 20 mm rod with a length of 240. That is approximately 12 inches. I have to buy because cut pieces are generally not available. So I have to pick out one 12 inches rod. That is 30 inches, 30 centimeter rod. I have to buy. So I've got the materials. Okay, let's check the size and the what I've got. I'll show you. This for this nut, I've got this one rod. Okay, and for this spindle, I've got this one a long rod of this. Okay, but the actual size required is not it was not available in the market. So just let's check. What was the actual measurement for our the spindle knot? It was 31.3 for heaven. So it's out OD. So let's check what we have, we have got. Let's check 31.3 3. Yeah, it will do a little bit, a uh, bit thinner, but it will do the work. Okay, let's use it. okay. Let's go for that. The spindle I had was. Uh, 17 point point six five. So, but let's see what I've got. Okay. I've got 
ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन एट लॉट्स ऑफ मिशन डन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द जर्म Actual length of the rod I'll be requiring for machining. So let's start up. So I'll be marking the required length. As you can see, I have finished turning the extruder size. Next, put up the original bar. Right. So this goes for the reduction part, straight part. We have put up here, roof over here, and the end. 
बटर भी Now the marking has been done. Now the first part, this one, I'll not pin it down to this part. I'll pin it to the lowest part, that the inside face. Okay. So let's mangle this one. Now so you use this to that particular side. Okay. Let's start turning again. Okay, now I'll be cutting this through over here. Let's measure this through first. I am ready with the almost uh, structure of the finger. So, yeah. so almost ready this part I will machine a little bit when I am cutting the thread. In the next video I will show you how to cut the thread or square thread over here. Okay. This one I have reduced to this size as because this will give me the thickness that is the depth of the thread exact measurement of the thread so I have just cut it to this inside you can see the inner piece inside the thread and the depth of the thread so I'll, that, that depth I have kept here that the, when I am fitting the thread over here it becomes easier for me to measure now I will try and take this part of the body thread then, so I have the piece over here I will fix it in the middle and cut so next cut it Alright friends, in the next video I will show you how to cut the next video I will show you how to create the square thread with and how to create the square thread in outside as well as square thread inside and then followed by the outside thread. Okay.